girl really, you gotta give it to me. What's your tea on the blue? How do you feel about them? So I'm pretty nervous and pretty scared. Hi. I am so confused right now. So my producer just texted me and she said, hey guys, it's time to get to really know your click. Tomorrow you will have your first official virtual one-on-one -on -one where you can choose who you want to get to know better. So I'm kind of excited for this. I know Sean was like the first person on the Zoom call with me the last time and he was just really easy to talk to and we're both like the same age in college so I think like we've had the same experiences and I just want to get to know more about him and like what he does. I also 100% have to do a one-on-one -on -one with Yusuf. I feel like just because he has such a personality and such a big character. This is my surprise phase. This is me crying phase. This is my ooh shade phase. Ooh, that was a good one. <laughs> I definitely feel like out of everyone, everybody got to know me the most. I was like non-stop talking and I was in both um, the private messages with the girls and the guys. So really, I don't know, it's just something about really like she was really hard to crack so I want I want a second attempt okay so I just showered and uh, I was told that I'm doing a one-on-one -on -one with Bella I'm excited to get to know her more she's also in LA uh, same as me or I will be in LA after this quarantine is over so it is someone that maybe I could actually possibly meet and like hang out with and um develop like a relationship. I don't know what type of relationship, whether it's like a friendship, you know what I mean. And I really hope it goes well. I'm nervous, but I think it'll go fine. Okay, so me and Bella, I heard, are gonna be playing a game called This or That, and I think this will really help us like break the ice and get to know each other, so I'm excited to do that. Hello. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good, I'm good. <laughs> That's good. What have you been up to today? I've been sewing all day and all night. It's you been... sew? Yeah, I make split hoodies and split tees. Yeah. No way. I literally just had one. I had like a company send me a bunch of split stuff because I love like okay. the split like look. Yeah. So I just got a bunch of that stuff. I was yeah. going to wear it, but I didn't. <laughs> what do you do? Like, what do you do for fun? Um, just like stupid stuff, kinda. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, makeup and outfit are on. I am ready for the Zoom call. And, oh, once again, lip gloss. Ooh, that was a weird noise. <laughs> Here we go, the first one-on-one. -on -one. I'm hitting join. Here goes nothing. What's up, guys? <laughs> hey. Uh, there's only two of us today, one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, exciting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Falling. Okay. There we go. Okay, I'm clicking the Zoom link now, and I'm so excited to get to know Relly. Oh my God! Hey, hey, what's up? I've been meaning to just chat a little bit after the first combo. You definitely were someone to remember. Um, I just want to get you get to know you a little bit better. So what's up? Not much right now. I'm just figuring out like where I want to go to college. Oh well, girl, today is National College Decision Day, so <laughs> you know, figure that out before the sun sets. I feel like I should focus on earning money right now because I'm trying to design my clothes, have a brand. Yeah, I know, I want to do big things. Are you kidding? Oh my God. Yeah. I love that. Okay, so do you just want to jump straight into the game, this or that? Yeah. Ooh, call or text. I'm sorry, but text just because I can answer you whenever I want to. I can think about my answer. That doesn't mean I'm shady. Okay, maybe it does. <laughs> um, call. For me, it's call. I think I'm kind of like in between. Yeah, no, yeah. I'm the same way. Um, what I've kind of like came accustomed to is you know how you can send voice memos over text? Yeah. I've been doing that a lot. I've yeah, been sending no, a lot of voice memos. So weird. <laughs> it depends the person. Good answer. <laughs> FaceTime, like, for me, sometimes it's like, it's too much. 
I feel like I have to be like in the right place and like. I'm laying down with like all my double chin showing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is this even a question? Tea or coffee? Come on, everyone knows that I like my tea. I like my tea hot. I like my tea overflowing. I like all tea, all the tea, all types of tea. Wow. Sorry. Coffee. I like <laughs> coffee. I'm like coffee. <laughs> Speaking of loving the tea, girl, Belly, you gotta give it to me. What's your tea on the brew? How do you feel about them? I feel like I connect mostly with you and Bella since we are seniors. Do you think that the others were a bit intimidating because they were older? I feel like they were. I feel like they were because only like Sean and Megan were connecting. I feel know. like they were too. Yeah, definitely. Easy tacos for sure. Pizza maybe? Ugh. You're like, I have to go now. <laughs> <laughs> so really your answer is neither. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm like, see. <laughs> <laughs> your personality is really easy to like get along with. Yeah. When it was just us two in the chat originally, it was just easy to talk to, so. Yeah, I thought the same thing. Do you like dining in or delivery? I like both. It depends yeah. on the depends on the day, I think. Um, I'm not really biggest cook, but like I cook um, in LA a lot of the time and like I make nice cheese quesadillas. <laughs> <laughs> So for these one-on-ones, we kind of like had to pick like who we would want to like be one-on-one -on -one with. So yeah. why was I chosen as one of your people for one-on-one? -on -one? Well, I didn't get to talk in like the smaller groups and I just wanted to get to know you more. And you're in LA, right? Are you going to be? Yeah, I'm going to be in LA, yeah. Yeah, so I will, um, I live out there as well. Um, I think it'd be really cool. Yeah. You guys know each other better and stuff. For sure. I agree. Yeah, I'm on the same page. <laughs> okay, cool. Oh, work hard or play hard? Hmm. I think I would have to say work hard just because, like, I'm low income, I'm first generation, I'm a student of color. So I've had to work twice hard just to, like, catch up to, like, my counterparts that, like, a lot, just a lot more privileged than me. So I definitely feel like. I have to work harder and like that's the only option for me. Do you feel like you can relate like in any way, Riley? Yeah, definitely because they see us as like less and I've faced, you know, people that told me that like, oh, like we don't take you seriously because of this and I feel it, but that's you so wrong. work hard to prove them wrong and that's Yes, what prove yeah. them wrong. I love you so much. Like, oh my God, I'm gonna cry. I love like your personality. Just amazing. I love you. That's why it's like really exciting to get to know you. Let's make a heart. Let's make a heart in the camera. Right. Wait, I'm here, right? I'm like, can you see it? No, connect it with mine. How do I do it? <laughs> like, go all the way to the edge. Wait, Wait no, flip it. Relly, flip it. Which way do I go? Oh. <laughs> Woo! We're getting to know each other very well on these vlogs. I really enjoy getting to talk with Megan uh, and do our one-on-one. -on -one. I was a big fan of this or that. Uh, I feel like you can you can learn a lot about people with that game because they're pretty much opposites, either one. I think we're both probably pretty adventurous and like doing crazy things. My impression of Megan didn't really change a whole lot from the first call, uh, but I mean, that being said, I, I thought she was a cool person from the first call. So I'm glad that we're all getting to know each other a little better. And I'm looking forward to hopefully some one on ones with other people soon as well. OK, so I changed out of the clothes I was wearing for the Zoom call and I'm just back into pajamas. But I was just kind of thinking about the conversation I just had with Sean. And he's actually like the cutest person ever. And he's really like comforting to talk to. And I really want to be like good friends with him because like I love people that like when you talk to them it's just like comforting and it feels like they're just like your hometown like best friend you've known them since like you've been growing up. So that was a really good conversation actually and I'm happy with how that went. Okay I'm going to get the bikes out of the pool house. Um, this is such a sad view. The pool's still not open yet. Oh no. Let's 
get the show on the road. Woo! I grew up in New Jersey and I always felt like I was destined to do more with my life and I therefore for years felt like I was wasting my time in a small town with people whose goals and dreams just did not align with mine at all. And unlike others, I think I am aware that life is not guaranteed because like when I was 14 years old, I was diagnosed with a heart condition and then I therefore had to get surgery later on. And it was through that unfortunate circumstance that I kind of became driven to live each day to the fullest. And I know that sounds so cheesy, but it's so true and so important. Like we're not guaranteed this time on earth so we might as well make every single second that we have so much fun and filled with the people that we love and just make it interesting. My mom is wearing the shirt of the place where Sean goes to college and I'm laughing. What a coinka dink. <laughs> Hey guys, so my mom just made a bunch of Moroccan treats that I want to show you guys. This one's called Slilo, and this is Jabakia. This is literally one of my favorite things to eat. It's like drenched in honey, it's so good. I'm literally gonna die in my mouth wanting so bad over there. Okay, so this is my Palestinian flag. Um, I use it, we put it on our necks, and we do a traditional dance called Dakke. This is a sipa, this is what we call it, my culture, um, and it's what you make dikkar with. I bought it for my dad when he was getting like really sick. And I wanted to give it to him, but that week, unfortunately, he passed away. Um, may he rest in peace. He's the reason why I got my identity and fighting for Palestine and freeing Palestine. And this is genocide that's happening over there. It's beyond words. I'm very open about like everything in my life, but I'm not open about like my family circumstances. So fighting for that type of justice makes me feel closer to him. Yeah, so that's what this is. So yesterday I got a text from one of the producers that says that today four of us are going to be going on a blind date and that we should dress to impress. So that is why I look like this. This is the first time that girl gets to see me dress up and I need to snap. This is not a, not a joke, it's not a joke. So I'm gonna take you guys with me while I get ready. Okay, so right now I'm trying to figure out a uh, outfit I'm going to be wearing. So these are my options right now. A white shirt with a jean skirt and a red crop top and black tights. And this a black crop top with black skinny jeans. So I got a fire going. I got the nice Zoom call set up right here. So I just made a peanut butter and jelly with a nice glass of milk. Um, I split the peanut butter and jelly in half so I could share it, but you know, I won't be able to share it. But it's a nice gesture, you know. I am wearing boxers underneath. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. I am in love with this tie. I'm so ready now. Ready? Ready? I'm gonna snap for the final result. And done. We're ready for today's blind date. I don't know who I'm gonna talk to, because obviously, because it's a blind date. So I'm pretty nervous um, and pretty scared. My fingers are crossed that I do not get picked to go on a blind date because I do have a boyfriend. So I kind of be weird and awkward. So it's kind of just like. I don't even know. I just I just feel weird that I haven't told anyone. I really don't want to get picked for this blind date. I'm kind of stressing. Oh, okay. I'll see you guys. All right. So I am pretty amped for this call. I think it I'm probably the most amped for this one out of all of them so far. So I've got a few things to kind of make it special, including we've got a beautiful little candle right here that we're gonna light. So we're gonna make it super special for her. I don't know who it is. I have my suspicions, but uh, there's only one way to find out. So let's do this. Really? How's it going? Hi. Can you hear me all right? Yeah, I could hear you. Can you hear me? I can. You're sideways, but you look beautiful. Thank you. So do you. Is it like this? There you go, it's perfect. I also saw your Instagram story a few minutes ago of you all dressed up and I was like... <laughs> oh, thank you. Well, I have a few things to kind of make this date a little more special than 
our bland backgrounds and stuff. So I have a few virtual backgrounds and I just want to take us to wherever, you know, you want to be on this day. So <laughs> we have, um, let's see, we've got the beach here. Pretty cool. Yeah. We've got Central Park in New York, nice and green. And then we also have this one, which I'm just going to say is my favorite. We've got Eiffel Tower right there. <laughs> we have Paris as well. So where would you like to go tonight, really? Paris sounds good. I'm going to send it to you so you can put it on your background as well. All right. Okay. Let me see. Um, let's see. I don't know why I can't put it. Is it like a phone thing or a, a computer? Does it only work on like computers or something? No, it did work. I don't know why I can't put it right now. Like I tried joining my own meeting and it worked, but I don't know why it's not working right now. I'll just smell my turn to Where or where for my blending? Okay, maybe the couch would work. Like, I don't know, that type of vibe. Except there's a brother there, so that doesn't really work either. Oh, this could be cute. A little blue wall. My computer. All right, here we go. I cannot believe I'm going on a blind date right now. Hopefully this looks good. All right, so I'm all set up here. I just joined and now I'm currently waiting to see who I will be paired up with. And yeah, I hope they like the whole setup I got going. It's a little hot, but you know, it'll do for the, for the setup, so. Hi. Oh, this is new. This is interesting. <laughs> I'm Cammie, nice to meet you, I'm good. Hi, I'm Cam. I am so confused right now. They brought a new girl in. I wish I kind of knew more about what Sean thought of me. I know I know who you want. So I definitely do have a special place in my heart for Latinas. <laughs> <laughs> Bella just dropped the bomb that she has a boyfriend. Do the boys know yet? I don't think so. <laughs> oh my God. 